come to us all the way from Caracas, Venezuela. Her work has been featured on CNN, Forbes, The Today Show, Fox, BuzzFeed, and so many others. Hey everybody, this is Michelle Poehler. I'm the founder of Hello Fears, and I'm so excited because today I'll be empowering over 10,000 people to crush their comfort zones and become who they're meant to be. Are you ready? Let's do this. Welcome, Michelle Poehler. Raise your hand if you thought that was just a little bit uncomfortable and you're like, please, someone dance with her. <laughs> I freaking love her. She has this energy about her. Her energy on stage, the dancing, the videos. She was very energetic and entertaining. And she blew me away. But the truth is that we all have a comfort zone and we know it pretty well because we live there most of the times. We know exactly where it starts and where it ends, and they are unique to each individual, just like your personality or your body is. So the things that are uncomfortable to me may be things that you can easily do. Eating an oyster. <laughs> and when I realized that fear was the one thing that could keep me from achieving my dreams, I embarked on a project that changed my life for good. So I decided to face 100 fears in a period of 100 days that I got to experience for the first time in my life what living life to the fullest feels like. And what I learned is that it only happens when we do the things we love like no one's watching. Because when we forget that others are watching us and judging us, and we get to do what we do out of love and passion. We will not only do a better job at it, but we will enjoy the moment way more. I feel super inspired by Michelle Poehler. Thousands of people here, everybody loved her. She's very engaging. She really talks to your heart. That courage is contagious. How am I supposed to gather the courage that I need if I'm only considering the worst case scenarios? And I ask myself, Michelle, what's the best that can happen, right? But if we're not careful, our need to fit in may hurt our authenticity. And we live in a time where authenticity is one of the most valuable assets that anyone could have. Yeah. She is full of life. She didn't take herself seriously. She was happy to just make a fool of herself on stage, but she didn't look like a fool. She just didn't look like she enjoyed it. That's who she is. You can see that the moment she comes out and smiles. She's herself, and that attracts a crowd. She made everyone else get up and dance at the end, and you know everyone was just loving it. It was great. What I learned is that the enemy of success is not failure. It's actually comfort. Comfort is what keeps us from going after new prospects, right? The more uncomfortable we get, the greater the reward. It was only when I got really uncomfortable and decided to commit to this project full time that I started to see real impact. Something that started as a personal development project turned into my purpose, a social mission that is encouraging people all over the world to say hello to their fears. It's just exactly what everybody needs to hear. Everybody has a fear of some kind, and to see how she faced those and that any of us could do that and what she's turned it into is just so inspiring. It just does something to you because it literally makes you want to leave here and get to work. What would you get uncomfortable for? What are those things you care so much about that you're willing to get uncomfortable to make them happen? Thank you all so 